Hey YouTube, this is Springer Rock here, and um, I'm gonna tell you that the frozen Apple logo on your iPod when it's rebooting itself, you know how it goes through the um, what's it called? The uh, it goes in a cycle, and then you get a white screen, it blacks out, then it starts up again. I know how to fix that, guys. It's easy. I'm doing this on my Windows 7, yeah I know, it's inappropriate and shit, but I'm doing this on my Windows 7 computer, all you need to do is click your files, go to your files, um, go to your documents, and then you go to Red Snow that you've downloaded, hopefully I'll, I'll uh, try to put some uh, stuff in the description I think, and I'll hit run. Uh, my iPod's not plugged in, but I'm just going to show you the steps. It's going to browse. you got to hit... Well, this is the iPod 4. I'm doing this on my iPod 4. And, um, well, this is running on the 4.3.4, .4, if you could see. Not the 4.3.3. .3. So you click on that. And then uh, it's going to process the firmware. It's going to say, IPSW successfully identified. You click Next gonna patch the kernel you're not you're I'm not I don't have like what I said I don't have my iPod in so um, yeah but on Windows 7 you have to do this in a very specific order you can't you cannot put um, this in the in the right slot of your Windows 7 you have to put it in the left one for some reason it just recognizes it because last time I was doing this about five minutes ago and um, it, it didn't work. So when I put this in here, I don't, I don't know, it just worked. So, um, yeah, so anyway, you go back to City. I mean, yeah, Red Snow. You don't hit, you unclick Install City, you unclick that, and you don't hit Enable. You just hit Just Boot Tethered right now. Um, you hit Next. It's going to say about how you have to boot you and turn off your iPod and stuff. It's going to give you the steps. It's going to say that mine's not well or whatever. Then you're going to come to a screen that will look like this. Here, let me type it in. Um and then you go to images I'm, I'm just showing you what it looks like um... Let's see here alright um... <clears throat> you'll come to a thing that looks like this wait no no not that it'll be whoopsie I don't know why the hell I clicked on it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, this one. I don't know why it's so tiny. But, um, yeah, you'll come to this. There'll be a black screen around you. And um, it'll say, waiting for iPod. And then it's going to show a thing on Red Snow that says, finished. And then you click that. And then you wait about another, maybe, like, I'm guessing a good a good 20 seconds and then your iPod should be on if you don't if you can't do that then just plug your iPod in iTunes with the same um, USB and do the steps again with the hold the home power button for three seconds then hold that for 10 seconds with the power button then release that and then hold the home button for 15 more seconds um, but then iTunes should recognize that your iPod's in recovery mode. You could just recover it if you downloaded the firmware 4.3.4 .4 if you have the iPod 4 with the 4.3.4. .4. And um, yeah, it should be okay. Um, I'm not really trustworthy on Apple because last time I had a second gen and that happened to it because I had the boot logo and the um, the connect to iTunes sign with that little um, that little swirl thing. Yeah, so. Um, I hope this video is very helpful. Um, I hope it gets a lot of rates, comments, and subscribes. Alright, see you later. This is Spigger Rock out.